Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today is hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness, in which we'll have our drawing at the end of the video. But first, let's have that shout out to Esti Marie Arts, Lenny, Colleen, Judy, ex Cajun Grandma, Julie, Sherry, Connie, Amu, Carol, and Susan's Heartstrings. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm going to set this aside. We'll have the drawing at the end. And let's begin. Today we're going to make book page pockets. I absolutely love these. They're so versatile. You can decorate them so many different ways. So I have my pages right here. And my pages that I'm using today are seven and a half by almost five. So you can use any size you want. And the, what I like to do is I like to turn down this, this side and this side, the longest sides. I like to turn them down just a little bit, not a lot, just a little. And what that does is it reinforces your pocket. I like to reinforce thin paper. I don't know if I'm rough on things, but I would end up tearing it if I didn't reinforce it. So you can see, I'm just turning it down just a little bit, okay? On this side, and then I'm gonna do it on this side as well. So I'm just lining it up to help me kind of get it even. It doesn't have to be perfect, just so it's not totally out of, out of whack there. All right, so I've got both sides turned down. I'm gonna get my Tombo glue, and I am going to glue down both sides. So I'm just gluing this down over on this side. I'm going to glue this side down, and then I'm going to get them glued together. And why I'm getting this glued together, I'm going to tell you what is hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness. What is that all about? We have a drawing every single Sunday. And it's from the comments of that most recent video. Because if you do another video that's not the most recent, you won't get in the drawing for that next week. And that's what it is. You'll have to check back next week to see if you've won. And how you have to get how you can get in is in the comment section you tell me your act of kindness towards another person. Whether that's letting them in line at the grocery store because you have 20 items and they have one, lighting them in line of traffic, whatever your little act of kindness is, it doesn't have to cost you any money at all. But it's not going to change their life, but it will lift their spirits. And we all could surely use to have our spirits raised just a little bit anymore. So in the comment section of the most recent Kathy Sewing Happy happiness. You tell me your act of kindness and then the next week you'll be put in the fishbowl for a drawing and what do you win? You win happy mail from me to you as my way of paying it forward. Okay so that's what that's all about. If you wish to enter you know how to do it now. If you win in the down below in the description of this video it's going to tell you how you're going to get your address to me because I have to have your address or I can't send you your happy mail. All right, so here we are. It's all glued. It's turned down. It's reinforced. We're going to turn this over, and I'm going to do it about two and a half inches, and then I'm going to turn this one over so we end up with about four inch, about four and in, three inches. I'm sorry. We end up with three inches. So my first fold was one, two and a half fold. My next fold was to make this three inches wide. I hope that you understood that. So this is going to be our pocket and our words are going to go this way. I hope that's not bothering anybody. But if you want, you can make this instead of book page. You can use music paper. That would be really cute too. So I ink mine up after I get it all glued together. So what I like to do is I put a little bit of glue on this flap right here, the larger of the flap. I put some glue right here and then I put some glue 
on this side right here and on this side. Don't glue this side. Don't glue the top. If you glue the top, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna end up with uh, something that you don't want. <laughs> so we're gonna glue this bottom right here. So I'm just gonna place my glue right on the bottom. Alrighty. So we've got that done. Now I like to take my larger paper clips and I just like to place them around and let it sit for a few minutes just to make sure it really gets glued nicely and there aren't any gaps. Okay, and then I just set it aside. So then what you can do is before you do all your folding. Now we're going to make one that's not sewn. That's what this one is right here. It's not sewn. If you want to sew it, after you have folded your two long sides in, that's when I took it to the sewing machine and I looked at my paper and I didn't want this part to be um, on the... what am I trying to say here? I'm trying to say that I pick the side that has the print closest to the edge to put my stitching on because that's going to be the bottom of the that's going to be the bottom of the pocket. The top is up here and it just it's going to look better if you do it if you sew it. You don't need to sew it on this end. Oh, I'm getting, you know, <laughs> okay, so I hope you're understanding that. So let's go back to this. We're making one that's not sewn. The my examples, and I have a lot of examples. I kind of went on a mask making uh, thing this afternoon, and I made a lot of them because I find them to be so much fun, and I find them to be so cute and easy to decorate. At least I think they're very easy to decorate. And there would be such a lovely little addition to a tag, a journal page. Uh, you, The sky's the limit on what you can use these for. Okay, so there's our pocket right down inside. It's almost like a seed pocket, ink, except it's not turned up from the bottom. It's, it's the simple version, right? Okay, the simple version. So now let's go ahead. Here's one that's sewn, and here's one that's not sewn. So you can see that difference right there. And then when you turn it over, I guess I should have inked this part right here. I'll do that real quick so you can see it a little better. And then you can see the difference right there. There's not a lot of difference. There's a little bit. So, you know, if you like to sew paper like I do, then maybe you'd want to, to stitch some up. Now, I have some labels. Now, all of the ones, see, I made all of these today, all kinds of them. I am going to put in the, down below in the description where all these label things came from. The one with the mushrooms, I have no idea. My daughter had to reset my Etsy and it wiped out my, my previous purchases. And so now I, I don't know where I got them from. And the paper does not, when you print it out, it does not say where it came from. So I'm sorry, but I don't know where I got the mushrooms from. But everything else is going to be down below in the description in case you're interested. Okay, so I've just applied some glue down there because I really want to add this lace. And I want to just kind of bunch it up a little. Not a lot, just a little on there like that. I'm going to add this little, I don't think I want it underneath, I want it on top. This label right here, and I'm going to tell you where I got that in the description because I can't pronounce the first part. I have no idea how to pronounce it. <laughs> don't know. I'm really bad with pronouncing things. Okay, so let's just place this right on top because I think that would be so cute. Like I said, these are so easy to decorate. Now, I might need to place a little paper clip right here just to hold it down while we finish this up a little bit because it is cloth and sometimes it takes a few minutes to get that to really stick down well. 
I have a butterfly and I thought maybe a butterfly and I actually thought maybe this label and I'm going to do that trick with the Sharpie and I'm going to just uh, run my edge of the Sharpie on the edge of the paper and it just makes a black mark and it just makes makes it pop whatever you do it to it just seems to make it pop so I think I'd like to put this on here I don't want to cover up too much of that label I think it's so cute I'm going to add some glue on here place it down I'm going to add some glue onto my butterfly and I'm just going to do something like this Oh, goodness gracious, I do think that is cute. Let's see, I got this today when I was out and about with my daughter. That helps, right? Isn't that cute? And it's it's a pocket. You can always put a little hinge on it if you want to do it like that. You could put some coffee dyed paper on the back if you want. You could actually attach this to a tag. You could glue it straight onto a page. There's so many things you can do with these. Let me show you this one. Isn't that one cute? Oh my goodness. Put some gems on that one. I could put some gems on that one too. It would probably help make it pop just a little bit. Let's go ahead and add something to that right there. I do think that would make it pop. Of course, I didn't get them out. But here they are right here. And I can show you just what that would look like. Just with a simple addition of a, a half of a pearl. There we go. Yeah, it did make a, a big difference adding that. It really did. You, you would think it wouldn't, but goodness, I don't know. It just really gives it that extra something. There's one here. Isn't that one sweet? With the lace on there. And then we have this one with the blue and the teacup. And we have the purple one with the mushrooms, which I don't know where they came from. And then we have this one. Let's see here. Oh, we have this one. This one's sweet with the lace on top and bottom. And then we have, oh, and I'm going to start making some Christmas things, guys. I have got to get started or I'm going to be falling behind. So I have decided that I am going to make, every time I make some ephemera, I'm going to make some Christmas things just so that I won't be so behind when it comes to that time. So let's go ahead and let's have our drawing, okay? All right, let me set this aside. Here's our drawing. You'll win Happy Mail from me to you as my way of paying it forward. And the winner, you'll need to give me your address. Oh, it's Lala Gamma. Lala Gamma, you've won Happy Mail from me to you as my way of paying it forward. You guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.